and we will continue with the uh, World Organization Against Torture. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. The World Organization Against Torture thanks the Office of the High Commissioner for the presented report. We welcome its findings that certain human rights violations perpetrated in Belarus since 2020 amount to crimes against humanity. This assessment is especially important as arbitrary detentions, unfair trials, torture and ill-treatment take place every day against anyone perceived as disloyal by the Belarusian authorities. Torture, which takes place mainly in detention, appears to be invisible as detention facilities are isolated and even lawyers and relatives of detainees do not have access to them. We document these violations even in relation to renowned human rights defenders. A well-known human rights defender, Nasta Loika, who was arbitrarily detained in September 2022 and remains in pretrial detention, was tortured with stun gun during the interrogation. She was also forced to stay outside for long periods in long, low temperature and to perform humiliating tasks in detention. Alex Baliatsky, Nobel Peace Prize winner and chairman of the Human Rights Center Vyasna, and his colleagues Valiantin Stefanovic and Uladzimir Lapkovic, who were sentenced to two weeks ago to between seven and ten years in prison, were kept handcuffed in a metal cage during the trial. This treatment is inhuman and degrading. We call on the Human Rights Council to extend the mandate of OTHR and to strengthen the existing mechanism. We also, uh, also ask the Deputy High Commissioner, do you think that the massive crackdown against civil society in Belarus constitutes a crime of persecution of a social group? We thank you.